Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down at 3D Golf Performance, continuing our thoughts and drills on power of the alignments. And this is a very important one as we move into your backswing and talk about the arms and their alignment to the body and how that uh, influences the correct pivot and on-plane swing. And your right leg as its alignment to the ground must remain stable in order to create a good, quiet body pivot. So the arms, first of all, we've talked about a couple different things. The contact point or pressure point of the back of the left, uh, upper arm to the chest, and then we talked about how the elbows get pinched inward and downward towards the hips. We want to make sure that those relationships stay the same during the backswing. So basically, as I take my setup and start to move the golf club, I have a feeling of, again, the right hip pulling back as I somewhat step into my right thigh. And I notice that this alignment that I started with is basically right in front of me, except I've had a, the whole range of motion has been my upper body pulled back by my right hip and provided my arms the space over here. As I create some extensor action by pushing the palm of my right hand up and out against my left glove thumb, I create the rest of my wind and my arms stay in that alignment to my body. They do not go across my body, which is very popular. And of course, they do not disconnect and, and lift up this way. They stay connected by the extensor action pushing up and out, the right palm. My right arm cocks at the elbow to make sure that my upper right arm is horizontal to the ground and my, up, my forearm of my right is now vertical. So one to two, create that extensor action by pushing. My left arm comes around and gets wound up with my left shoulder getting cocked. And I can see that I'm in really good shape there to have my arms in the correct position for me to start down. Now, the right leg, when doing such, needs to s remain in a stable and almost fixed position. So we can't let the right leg move at a different angle in the backswing. I must make sure that the right leg is slanted slightly inward, and that alignment is important along with my right knee remaining flexed. I do see some turn to the leg, but I want to make sure that the angle remains the same from one to two. You can see I've stepped into it. I've got a little bit of hip turn, of course, and the thigh has turned a little bit. Even my knee has turned a bit, but the angle will remain the same. And this will help as well with your left knee and left foot staying planted where I feel like it's really heavy on my right foot. It's flat and heavy, but my left knee only comes in a little bit and that slightly collapsing motion in my left knee is towards, up towards the ball this way, not ever in this way, which would influence a great deal of hip motion or instability in the tilt of my body because my body would end up back over my left side like this when I do that. 
So I want to make sure that I get the one to two step in and then the vertical motion of my arms caused by the extensor action of my right palm pushing my left arm which is winding or coiling my shoulder around my spine to get it behind the ball and I can really see that right leg and how important it is to stay in alignment so I create this incredible coil of my upper body because of the stability of my lower body. So you can do lots of drills like this. You can do the shaft behind your back, hooked on your elbows. Again, same kind of thing. Pull your right hip back and really feel that right knee stay in proper alignment and flexed and the whole right leg stays on the same angle during the back swing. Again, when you add the arms in, the arms alignment to the body remain where the elbows are in front of you, in particular the right elbow and the right hip, and then in the start down, the same thing, the right elbow comes right back into the right hip, right in front of it. So one to two, two to three, and you can see the arms are somewhat pinching in at the elbows still, then I push down and I bring the right elbow right back into the right hip. And that creates the weight transfer or the axis tilt for me to my left side. So from behind, it looks like this. And when I do it, you can see the way my tailbone goes across, creates the weight shift. And I've really got that in a powerful delivery position for me to release and full power on that one. So it looks like this. Good setup. Right up the line. I'm in control. I feel the power and the effortless power is there. So give these exercises and drills a shot and good luck with them. Good golfing. And remember